likely there's not that much mud. Here we go. The first UCI mountain bike cross country short track World Cup of 2023 is go. And now it goes fast. And it's Fedor out front. It's the youngster, the man who wants to make his name this season, has gone right to the front of his first ever elite start. And he's hungry for a good race, for a good result. Now watch Showing out. his strength. Watch out into this first left-hand corner. It's wet, it's loose. Will they all make it round? Vidor leads him on the bottom of this climb for the first lap. Tito Akkoholt in his wheel. Hatherley behind him. And it's high speed. Hatherley, good start. Pieter Formore in the green kit. Tom Pitcock to come to the front. Tom Pitcock, the last rider to cross the line there, so... Maybe we would have expected to see him make more of an, an impact earlier in this race. There is Flukiger on that red Thomas Maxson kit. Making his way to the front of this one. Matthias Flukiger spoke to his mechanic earlier today and he said most of the, most of the riders... Oh, Schwarzbauer oh, to the front. Schwarzbauer. There he is. He said that uh, most of the team riders, they just go up a couple of cogs in the chain ring. But Matt Flukiger, he likes... Uh, Shorter travel, four narrower bars, two more, two more cogs on the chain ring. Likes a really aggressive setup for short track, actually. I think we are at uh, some of the riders with a 40 uh, the chain ring. Uh. Next to Lukas Schwarzbauer, the Rotorua native is here. The man who Second grew up riding in the Redwoods. Gaze is here for Alpes de Koenig. Yeah, when it comes down to a sprint finish, I think he's hard to beat, Gase. Nino in third place, Rido. Schwarzbauer digging deep on last start finish straight. Gaze. But Gaze so close on Look this wheel. Look at the face on Gaze. Gaze on the second place. He's here to take care of business. Scherter goes over his left-hand shoulder. Yep, the riders said will use their elbows a little bit when it comes down to these corners. Vital Alban in the red kit behind uh, Lukas Schwarzbauer. Bit oh, oh, that's ah! a crash for Hadley. Hadley, Pierre Formand ran down as well. Hadley takes down the Formand and Pitt there's Cobham confusion second. with the bikes. And look who's in second place now. It's Tom Pidcock. Sam Gay's on third, Nino on fourth. Now we have Vital Alban. Well, the two of them took their time getting to the front of this one, but they're here now. It's Matthias, Matthias Flücker in the red kit, it's Matthias. On the last lap, rounds the climb in front, Lucas Schwarzbar. He's dug the deepest for the longest, he wants to win this one. Gaze but it's is still waiting. It's Pidcock and Gaze. That's the last thing you'd want to see when you look over your shoulder. Very close, <laughs> on your wheel. And Flukiger's still with them as well, he might have something to say. Pitcock coming Free the abreast! Free abreast into the last corner almost. Pitcock is taking the lead here in this corner. Pitcock's decided, he's had enough. He leads him into the final left-hand corner. Looks over his shoulder, Gaze. Oh, I wonder, I just wonder. Gaze sits up. Last corner, last corner. Big in, take a dip of breath before the plunge. A here we go. Sprint. Pitcock. Digs deep, Schwarzbach digs deep, Gears digs deep. Who is going to win the first Short Track World Cup of the year? It's Tom Pidcock. Tom Pidcock takes the win in the Czech Republic against all the odds. The man who almost wasn't starting this bike race has powered through from being the last across the line on the first lap to the only place that matters. The first. Tom Pidcock nearly didn't take the start, definitely took the win. There's what it means. The British rider for Ineos Grenadiers opens up his account. They have yet to find a bike, a bike that he can't win on. Put him on a unicycle, he'd probably go out there and do a job of work as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I only found out I was racing at three o'clock, having already done three and a half hour training ride this morning. So. Uh, yeah, he does. And um, yeah, I, I always uh, like racing here. I've been second here in the short track before, so it's nice to uh, to win one. Fine. And for Ineos Grenadiers, 
for Great Britain, the unstoppable, the multi-talented Tom Pidcock. And there is your top three from the day. And your top three in the overall. Pidcock, Gaze, Schwarzbar, Great Britain, New Zealand and Germany. And there we have it then. Your short track standings. Sam Gaze, but just behind Tom Pidcock. And as I say, as it's the first round, they mirror those of the race itself. Some people have work to do, and some more than happy with their evening's work.